power plant, hindi mawawala ang issue nito pagdating sa mga problema ng pakalitas dahil sa masasamang na itutulod ng nuclear power plant. Ngunit, hindi rin natin maikakaila ang maganda na itutulod ng nuclear power plant dahil sa energy ang ipinibigay at itinutulod nito. At ito ay magiging malaking tulong para sa ating pang araw araw na pangangin. Ako po si Maya Sela Siraba at upang pamunan ang dokumentaryong ito, mabuting malaman muna natin kung paano nagsimula at kung paano nabuo ang nuclear power plant. The first nuclear reactor. The first nuclear reactor was built in 1942 through the influence of Albert Einstein, Enrico Fermi, and many other prominent physicists. Under President Roosevelt, the United States granted financial assistance to nuclear research programs. The vast financial and physical resources of North America and the talents of scientists were harnessed under a very secret program, codenamed the Manhattan Project. Fermi and his team constructed the first reactor in a squash court at the University of Chicago on December 1942. It took three years of concentrated effort to obtain the necessary quantity of uranium-235. The reactor consisted of a pile of graphite blocks which acted as a moderator. Lumps of uranium were inserted into holes in the graphite. To control the reaction, neutron-absorbing cadmium strips were inserted into the pile. The neutron and radiation levels were monitored as the reactor was constructed of layer upon layer of graphite. The neutron intensity level increased dramatically when the 57th layer was added. The first chain reaction was occurring. Cadmium strips were quickly inserted into the pile to shut down the reaction before heat and radiation could reach dangerous levels. Paano nga pa pinapatakbo isang nuclear power? Ako po si Jessica Romana at tatalakayin ko ang mga proseso patungkol dito. So how does a nuclear reactor work? Nuclear reactor consists of three loops that interact together. Nuclear fission gives off energy in loop 1, producing an intensely heated water. It is put under high pressure, thus maintaining its liquid form. Heat from loop 1 is reacted to a cooler water in loop 2 and producing steam in the process. The steam produced goes to a steam generator that powers turbines that will produce electricity. The steam used will then be cooled and condensed in loop 3 and will then proceed as cooled water in loop 2. The cycle will continue again and again. Naalala niyo ba na minsan lang nagpatayo ang Pilipinas ng nuclear power plant? Ako nga po pala si Jasmine Hodges at alinat balikan natin ang nakarapan. The Bataan Nuclear Power Plant is a nuclear power plant completed but never fueled on Bataan Peninsula, 100 kilometers west of Manila in the Philippines. It is located on a 3.57 square kilometer government reservation at Naput Point in Morong Bataan. It was the Philippines' only attempt at building a nuclear power plant. The Philippine nuclear program started in 1958 with the creation of the Philippine Atomic Energy Commission under Republic Act 2067. Under a regime of martial law, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos in July 1973 announced a decision to build a nuclear power plant. This was in response to the 1973 oil crisis as the Middle East oil embargo had put a heavy stain on the Philippine economy and Marcos believed nuclear power to be the solution to meeting the country's energy demands and decreasing dependence on imported oil. Construction on the Bataan nuclear power plant began in 1976, following the 1979 Three Mile Island accident in the United States. Construction on the BNPP was stopped and a subsequent safety inquiry in the plant was revealed over 4,000 defects. Among the issues raised was that it was built near major earthquake fault lines and close to the then dormant Mount Pinatubo. By 1984, when the BNPP was nearly complete, its cost had reached 
2.3 billion US dollars, equipped with a Westinghouse flight water reactor. It was designed to produce 621 megawatts of electricity. Marcos was overthrown by the People Power Revolution in 1986. Days after the April 1986 Chernobyl disaster, the succeeding administration of President Corazon Aquino decided not to operate the plant. Among other considerations taken were the strong opposition from Bataan residents and the Philippine citizens. The government sued Westinghouse for overpricing and bribery, but was ultimately rejected by a United States court. The repayment on the plant became the country's biggest single obligation, while successive governments have looked at several proposals to convert the plant into an oil, coal, or gas-fired power station. These options have all been deemed less economically attractive in the long term than simply constructing the new power stations. The Bataan Nuclear Power Plant was a focal point for anti-nuclear protests in the late 1970s and 1980s. The project was criticized for being a potential threat to public health, especially since the plant was located in an earthquake zone. And because a volcano formation was found near the location of the power plant. Despite never having been commissioned, the plant has remained intact, including the nuclear reactor, and has continued to be maintained. The Philippine government completed paying off its obligation on the plant in April 2007, more than 30 years after construction began. On January 29, 2008, Energy Secretary Angelo Reyes. Announced that Internal Atomic Energy Agency, eight-man team led by Akira Amoto, inspected the Mount Bold Bataan Nuclear Power Station on rehabilitation prospects. In preparing the report, the IAEA made two primary recommendations. First, the power plant status must be thoroughly evaluated by technical inspection and economic evaluations. Conducted by a committed group of a nuclear power plant experts with experience in preservation management. Second, the IAEA mission advised the Philippines government on the general requirements for starting its nuclear power program, stressing that proper infrastructure, safety standards, and knowledge be implemented. The IAEA's role did not extend to assessing whether the power plant is usable or not, or how much the power plant may cost to rehabilitate. On February 1, 2010, Nabucor started evaluating the financial plan of Korea Electric Power Corporation, assessing that it may cost 1 billion to rehabilitate the nuclear power plant. On February 22, 2011. The Philippine government will reimburse the National Power Corporation 4.2 billion U.S. dollars it spent for maintaining the Mount Bold Bataan nuclear power plant. It requires an average of 40 million a year just to maintain it. In May 2011, it was announced that the plant would be returned into a tourist attraction. Ako po si Ivan Garcia at ating talakayin ang statistics ukol sa nuclear power plant. Ayon sa statistics, mayroong tatlumpung bansa ang gumagamit ng nuclear power plant. At sa mga bansang ito, France, Belgium at Slovakia lamang ang gumagamit ng nuclear power plant bilang pangunahing pinagmumulan ng elektrisidad. Sa kabuuan, mayroong apat na daan tatlumput tatlong nuclear power plants ang pinapatakbo sa buong mundo. May bilang naman na anim na putlima ang kasalukuyan pang tinatayo at isang daan, limamputwala naman ang pinaplanong ipatayo. Ngunit dahil sa Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster, maraming bansa ang nagpatupad ng nuclear power phase-out dahil sa napakalaking pinsala na maaring idulot kapag nagkadiferensya ang mga nuclear power plants. Ngunit bago pa mangyari ang Fukushima nuclear disaster, nagpatupad na ang bansang Austria noong 1978 ng nuclear power phase-out na sinundan naman ang Sweden noong 1980, Italy noong 1987, Belgium noong 1999, at Germany noong 2000. At dahil nga sa Fukushima Daiichi disaster noong March 
tuluyan ng ipinasara ng Germany ang walong nuclear reactors at ipinangakong isasara ang mga natitirang reactors sa 2022. Ang mga taga-Italy naman ay napagdesisyon ng panatiliing non-nuclear ang kanilang bansa. Ang Switzerland at Spain naman ay pinagbawal ang pagtatayo ng mga bagong reactors. Mas ibang malaman ang maganda at pangit na naidudulot ng nuclear power plant. Ako nga pala si Gerard Jai. Halika at sumahan niyo. The advantage and disadvantage of nuclear power plant. The advantage of nuclear power plant. Nuclear power plant is cleaner than fossil fuels and nearly as clean as alternative energy. Although solar, hydro, and wind are much cleaner. Nuclear power plant can be used to power submarines and our satellites. Submarines can stay under sea for months at a time. Nuclear power plants need only be refueled every several years. It's about six years between before fueling. Nuclear power plants are proven reliable technology, although the technology has evolved greatly since earlier nuclear power plant disasters. By products cannot be used to reduce atom bombs by leaders of unstable countries. This is a major concern. Disadvantage of nuclear power plant. Uranium mining is a service. It can cause cancer and lung diseases. Although radiation itself is not a mining hazard, nuclear power plant production cannot be increased to meet sudden energy demands. Example of this is air conditioning in hot months. Other types of energy sources are needed at peak times. Nuclear waste is a radioactive hazard for more than 10,000 years. Although technology for handling waste is improving, uranium is a non-renewable source. Once you use it, it's gone. However, there's a 5 billion years uranium reserve. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pananood. Kami ang group ko at ito ang aming dokumentaryo.